Hello, ladies and gentlemen, hello, and welcome to Kerbal Space Program. The game where you are this guy, or one of his kind. Um, Kerbin? Not Kerbin? Kermen? Don't know about Kerr women, though. Um, but, uh, yeah, we are going to play this game, at least for a season or two. See what's up, see what's happening. We're in version 0.25, build 642. Let's get started. Let's get started. Resume save. Go here. Continue. Ah, uh, what is... This needs to... All right, look at us, look at us. This needs to go. Get, get out of my... Um, hide. There you go. Thank you. Okay, so we have a ship. We have a ship that is capable of doing some things, although it does need some finagling. And here it is. Right, okay, so let me explain this. This is just uh, stock parts where at the beginning of the game. And the uh, the launch, the ones that will launch will be this, these two boosters and this main engine here. This should get up to around 5,000, above 5,000 meters so that we can break one of the contracts. And then on the way down, along with this parachute, we have these four engines that will burn uh, a little bit to kind of ease our descent so that we can maybe save these engines here, down, down at the bottom. So that's that. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go back. And let's, uh, first of all... What's that building? Mission Control. Oh, nah. uh, it's no secret that we were really stumped by whether we definitely needed to find something to do. Admittedly, for the chief bookkeeper passing by Kerbin World's first record-keeping society, that was simply poor. It is true, though, that the way we would often see an unintended ignition was a big part of why, and in any case, this is why we are here. We want you to launch a vessel to officially start off the space program. That I can do. <coughs> Set an altitude record. Uh, a group of clerks visiting Kerbin World First Record Keeping Society felt mostly certain about whether we clearly had no idea if we, for some reason, couldn't come up with our next move. Granted, the apparent frequency at which we find ourselves dumpster diving was quite positively part of the reason. Anyhow, that really ended up raising more questions than answers, and as you've probably figured out at this point, that's why we are here. We want you to launch a new vessel to set a new altitude record of 5,000 meters, which I think that... Uh, uh -huh. that, that vessel can do. We cannot escape the atmosphere, and we will not get in orbit with this one. But, but, at least we will do those things. What is this? Um, so I'm assuming the green ones are what I can do. So Linus Kerman outsourcing. Okay, why do all the data crunching ourselves when we can contract external research labs to help us process the data we receive? These services aren't exactly cheap, but their R&D facilities are very impressive. It takes 5% of income, funds income, and it yields one science for each $35. Uh, yeah. Hmm. 
No refund. Cost sixteen thousand dollars. Yeah. Uh, appreciation campaign. We could definitely improve our image by putting some effort into reminding Kerbals everywhere just how great the space, pro uh, space, blah, 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 the space program is. Advertisement space isn't free, however. Yep, let's do it. And recovery transponder fitting. Recovery parts landed far away from the space center can be very costly, but I reckon we can reduce those costs by installing better transponders on the parts we launch. These will these units are not cheap, but they should make it much easier to find parts. Improving recovery value is they're halfway around the world. Kerbin, <laughs> uh, what do you say? Huh. Agreed. All right. So, did all that. Great, great to see, great to see. Now let's get a Kerman. And which one will it be? Hold on. Let me let me take a count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And 12. We have 12 Kerbins. Hold on. Welcome back. So, I just went online to do a random number thing, and we got a number. We have an election. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Joe Moore Kerman, you are going to be the pilot for this first mission. I hope you're up to it, Joe Moore. Joe Moore. Okay, so just to double check, we got the we got these two rockets firing along with this one. Then these four to to help decelerate and then the parachute. Okay, Jeb, you're gonna have to sit this one out because this is Joe Moore's time. All right, and we're gonna name this. We're going to name this Project Project What? Project Origin Yep we're Gonna save it And we're gonna launch it Alright guys I'm so ready for this Hopefully, hopefully we don't mess up too much. SAS on, uh, and in three, two, one, go, and we're off. Straight and steady. Gotta love that. Coming up to 1,500 feet. Let's go ahead and turn a little bit. Turn a little bit. Turn a little bit. Yes. 1,000 feet to go. And we passed it. We got it. Seven thousand five hundred. Very good. Very good. Let's go ahead while we're up here and let's take a crew report. Report, don't they? All right. Uh, let's go ahead and toggle this down. Fire those engines, and we're going to deploy the parachute. Alright, okay. Fire our engines a little bit. Alright, we're slowing, we're slowing. Good, good. Alright, alright, a hundred meters per second. 
second grade. He looks concerned. <laughs> um, 2,000 meters, 60, 64. Very delicate thing. Okay, parachute's about to deploy. There we go. Fifteen meters per second. Fourteen. everything still in one piece we're still alive let's go ahead and EVA don't fall off now take an EVA report for me <laughs> it is a most precarious situation let's go ahead and get back in safely <laughs> all right so that was that was pretty uh, pretty neat I never worked for me before <laughs> I'm pretty impressed and we still got some fuel left Let's go ahead and recover this vessel and see what happens. Oh, ooh, look at look at these badges. Okay, so Joe Moore Cor Kerman now has the uh, the ribbon for first Kerman surface EVA uh, awarded for being the first Kerbal taking footsteps on Kerman. What? <laughs> um. Awarded for executing EVA while not in a stable orbit, because we were in the water. Very good. And splashdown. Awarded for a splashdown vessel in water. Good, good, good. He's got three ribbons now. That's great. Great to hear. All right, three experiments recovered. The crew report while flying over Kerman Shores. Very good. The EVA report while flying over Kerman Shores. Very good. And the recovery of a vessel that survived a flight. Very, very, very good. Uh, parts. We got the command. Yeah, we got everything back that we, uh, that we had. Everything back that we had. The command module, the, uh, the fuel tank, the seven fuel tanks, I mean, the, uh, what is that? What is what is that? The girders, the solid fuel boosters, the uh, info drive that we put on. Very good. The parachute, and then the fuel. We got some monopropellant left, so we got that back. We got some liquid fuel left. Got that back. Oxidizer. Got that back, and we don't have any more solid fuel, so we can't get anything from that. But. Out of 23 parts, four resources recovered, seven uh, kilometers from KFC, K KFC, <laughs> KSC, 100% recovered, great, and Joe Moore Kerman still, still alive. I'm very happy about that. We got 17 science, and you know what that means. Oh, wait. Yeah, both these contracts were completed, so that's good. Good. Good stuff. Good to hear. Get off my screen. Get, get, off, get off my... Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, uh... Okay, so... Ooh. Okay. So, apparently, X-Science marks all the science that you can ever get, ever, in this game. 
And let's go down and see what we got. We got... Alright, crew report over Kerm Insurance. Very good. Uh, EVA. Very good, very good. And that's all. That is it. That is everything. Did we do any experiments? Ah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so it's 17.3 science. We got a positive reputation going, it looks like. Uh, let's go ahead and see what's up here. Basic rocketry costs five science. Let's get it. All right, we got 12.3 left. That costs 20. That costs 18. That costs 15. All right, so we can't get any of those. But in the next episode, we are going, we are going to do something. <laughs> I don't know what yet. Look at all these. Set an altitude record of 11,000 feet. Uh, 11,000 meters, I mean. All right, test the booster on solid rocket. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Um Actually you know what? Maybe. Mark sixteen in flight over Kerman. I don't think I'll do that because I, I hear it's hard to do. Stack decoupler. We might do that. What do we have to do? Might be able to do that with that. Don't know. <laughs> An escape atmosphere and orbit. We are going to try next next episode. We are going to try at least these three contracts. This one, this one, and this one. We might do this one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We might do that one, and we might do this one. Because you have to be between those, and we are going to do that if we're going there. So, yeah. All right. Um, let's go back. Does our administration have anything to say? No. No. And no. All right. Well, I'll leave you guys to it. And that's it for me. Let's go ahead and uh, advance a month, though. Shall we? 30 days. Let's go to day 31. Um... Huh. Oh, I get it. go day 31 month later we are going to do something actually let's track let's track some stuff shall we there we are there's the moon way out there there's menace way way out there and I believe there is the wait There's some big ones out there. So yes, we are going to do some things next time. But I will see you guys in the next episode. Remember, be safe when flying around in space. 
I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> I'll see you guys.